I'm the drummer for Danny Newcomb. Hi, I'm Erin Rubin, and I play keys and sing backing vocals for Danny Newcomb. Hi, my name's Andy Stoller. I play bass with uh, Danny Newcomb on this great show. Hi, I'm Danny Newcomb. I grew up in the north end of Seattle with Mike McCready, and I'm a longtime rock and roller and singer-songwriter. Band in Seattle, longtime Seattle music veteran Danny Newcomb brings together a group of talented locals for his bluesy singer songwriter tunes. Welcome to Band in Seattle. Like I said, I only worked with him a couple of times, but once we started working, I just had a great time just being around him because he's, he's, a, he's a jokester. But that's it. He's, he's a hoot, and his uh, number one is his songs are great. It's really fun. We actually um, both live over on Vashon Island, and that's another way we met. It's kind of just through the community and local musicians. So we will get together and just play music and kind of jam on songs or try new things. And so um, it's been cool through all this to kind of have a more than just a band relationship. Tell me, tell me true, am I still in you? With the tide rising high, everyone starts to lie. I am Playing with Danny is super fun. I feel like, you know, extended family at this point. We kind of have a, a bit of a sibling <laughs> thing. and. Yeah, he's a super creative guy and he's got a vision, he has a sound and it's really easy for me to jump in. Erin, a, she's a phenomenal uh, piano player and amazing with tempos and amazing background singer. She's uh, very smart and has no problem telling me what I need to do. She and I played on the whole Mackerel Sky record. We're playing most of the material tonight off of that and that was just acoustic 12 string and piano. Super solid, and I introduced Jesse and Danny. It's nice to nice to have like this pool of musicians that just like can hop in and do their job. Jesse, he's always been amazing when we jam together, but this is his second show tonight. So. <laughs> Stoller, he was a longtime bass player for Tracy Chapman, and I've known him for years. 
uh, you know, in five or six, seven years, and all kind of the same circle. Um, he's a phenomenal bass player. I met Andy for the first time before um, playing this show. Got each other pretty quickly. He's really, really talented. playing when I was 10 years old and we started doing shows um, like I said before I grew up uh, Mike and I were best friends and grew up so we played in bands together and started guitar lessons at the same time um, I think you know it was the 70s it was 79 I think when I got my first record and the 70s were just such a great era for those big shows and bands and there was so much power in the performances you know and and spectacle and and musicality it was great it was a great time to go see big shows and so that's kind of where I kind of came up. I was like, I want to do that. Did bands all the way through high school, starting in middle school. And, you know, in the 90s, I ended up being signed to Atlantic with my band Goodness and toured all over the world. I always dreamed about being signed to a major label, especially in Seattle, because it was such a backwater. That was always like my kid dream, and then when we got to do that in the 90s, first getting signed to Atlantic and then to Epic, that was a, you know, just a, a milestone. Probably the biggest show we did, I think. We opened up for Pearl Jam a few times, of course, they're friends. Um, but then we opened up for Oasis in Madison Square Gardens. Discover more about Danny Newcomb. I guess life is what it is. There's something born of extra dirt. She says just what I give Forgotten voice from the Bible I'm a revenant It's been different for each song. I, I have a practice. I, I'll get up and write. I'll try and write one idea that could turn into something good every day. There's always things percolating, percolating and you can always um, combine ideas too, that's another thing I found by keeping up a regular practice and building up different ideas. It shouldn't be serious. There's no perfect way to do it. So you have to be feeling open and playful. How long will we shine? Cut the ropes and rise up. We won't sleep at all. Stay. 
he was like really like first starting out. He was sort of in the 90s, and so the, the music has that feeling of kind of that 90s Seattle sort of underground, just uh, straight out of the dirt kind of thing. Dream at the ragged edge of the West. In just eight miles, we'd be swimming out in the streets, following the sunsets to the dawn in Japan. But don't you want to start again? Everybody wants to start again. Everybody wants to start again. And every day moves like a rising sun. You wake and then you run. It's like came from more of a melody background and a player background, being a guitar player first. It's taken me a really long time to learn the story content. Um, even though I'm an English major, music has always been more intuitive. And I find now that my writing is better than when I'm focused on, I focus on the language and the story more. songs that feel almost happy but then are melancholy. I'm a sucker for a melancholy song and and it's funny because you can sing it in a way that's upbeat or or open sounding and you can write music that feels that way and then have a lyric that's you know not and that the contrast is always good with songwriting. I like that a lot. I think there is a element of my music that's pretty traditional. When I say traditional, I mean more like rootsy. I, I think there's a lot of the band in there and there's some of Dylan and blues definitely, of course, being a rock and roller. Chase the dollar, let it break what you know. It's always lighter. I told Danny that I will play on anything and everything that he records. It's nice working with somebody that you can just kind of jump right in. I feel like I've got I've got the Danny sound dialed in now. <laughs> We've been doing it for long enough. Danny Newcomb. 
after releasing as many records as I have and had written as many songs as I have, I think there's things to discover. She said the light was golden. She stepped into the street. And I didn't know how long I've been holding it on. I couldn't get my release. Some moments fake their own light at the outside of time. And you don't know which way. Traffic stands still But somehow in the right I can fall away back After releasing as many records as I have and written as many songs as I have, I think there's things to discover. I still think there's more to discover and I just feel like I'm moving in a direction where there's more questions and it gets better. to whatever the f I used to know. Yeah, let me wipe the dirt off of my jeans. Holy mackerel. Cause everything just seems to move on well so fast. I can get my release. But somehow in the right I fall straight back to the street. like me who earns enough money to pay for other recordings and is basically self-financed could afford to go out and tour for three or four months out of the year. But especially, you know, now after COVID too, with all the cancellations and everything being uh, bumpy, it's really not something that is feasible. So I guess I wish two things. Um, one, that that was possible to be able to do that. And two, that uh, artists made a little bit more money when they're independent now. I think it's a pretty hard, uh, hard deal. But I, the reasons I said before that I do it is as much for the songwriting as for the traveling and playing live. I can see you ask me when you look at me. experience in being a musician in the pandemic. Most of that was writing on my own, but a lot of performance and recording and things was uh, Danny-centered. We kind of had to support each other. We didn't know what was going to happen. I'm sad that Mackerel Sky was released in a time where like the music industry was just so like up in the air. We just didn't know what, you know, what was going on and it couldn't get a lot of live support. Yeah, it was nice to go through that time with such a good friend. So love can bind you now. Baby, don't you want me? Baby, don't you need me in your heart? Like in my head. Tell me there's a story. Tell me there's an ending in your head. Like in my heart. You can 
take up my time Drink up my future Save me like one But let's begin You can tell me I'm crazy Say that you might be Tell me you worry But won't you be mine You just take it and leave it And you say you don't need it Cause everyone goes crazy when they feel it but You can't fake it and mean it But love He has a new album coming out. So I think the hope for all of this is that this kind of spins into more shows, venues opening up, and people returning, hopefully unmasked, to come out and just enjoy live music again. So I'm hoping for more gigs, more crowds, all of that. You can begin. Thanks for watching. To uncover more about our bands, go to bandinseattle.com.